let's start. Okay, we'll have a soft start. That's what we'll do. We'll have a soft start. Okay, <laughs> so I just want to welcome everyone to the OHASA annual general meeting. Um, and we have a very short agenda, but it's it's a really important agenda. But more importantly than that stuff is I want to just do an, a welcome and I want to have everybody um, just to kind of say who they are and you know where in Ontario or perhaps Canada um, you are. And Sarah, you're first on my screen, so you win the lottery to go first. <laughs> Great. Kelly. You're muted, Kelly. I win the very first. You are <laughs> muted. Um, good morning. I'm not awake and I am in Guelph, Ontario, and I work in the Waterloo Region District School Board in Hespler. These lands are Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee and formerly the neutral or Atawandaram peoples who are absorbed by those previous nations. Jim, are you able to speak um, or no? I am. I'm back. Sorry. Okay. And, and I'm, introduce I'm yourself and, and where you are. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm Jim. I, uh, I am in Strathroy, Ontario. Great. Uh, Alexis and then Jean Francois. Annie, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Alexis, and I um, am with the Durham District School Board, and I'm teaching in Brooklyn High School. And I, um, I'm a part of the Williams Treaty, and share the land um, with five treaty partners. Our closest one is the Mississaugas of Scugog Island First Nation. Thank you. So I'm Jean-François, uh, live from Ottawa. I work for the Conseil des Écoles Catholiques du Centre-Est, which is Canada's largest French language school board outside of Quebec, and uh, here on unceded Algonquin territory. Thank you. Uh, Janet. Hi, everyone. I'm um, teaching with the TDSB, and I'm from Scarborough, Ontario. Um, I'm currently at Albert Campbell. Awesome. Um, Heather. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Heather McGregor. I'm located on shared Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee territory in Cataraqui, also known as Kingston. I work at Queens. Thank you. Um, Sheila. Good morning. Um, I am in the middle of my class, but it's my grade 12 uh, class. So they are, they're being patient while I go through some of this. We couldn't get funding. I'm in London, Ontario. Uh, history teacher, department head at Catholic Central. Great, and Mackenzie. Hi there, sorry. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm a history teacher with the uh, Limestone District School Board, which is in Kingston. Um, with somebody already mentioned that's also Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee territory. Thanks. And Paul. Uh, I'm based in Halifax, Nova Scotia, but I actually was a longtime member of OHASTA. Knowing that I was going to be back this morning, I wanted to figure out how long I was a member of OHASTA. <laughs> 1978 to 1997. Great. And um, I saw one that says Jay Alexander. <laughs> yes, hi. Um, I'm right here. I'm uh, Jim Alexander. I'm uh, this is my first time at this conference, so a nice hi to everybody. I just want to say too, the help desk has been amazing. <laughs> yes, we have very good tech support. Indeed. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you, and welcome to your first one. And Maureen, I, I see you on here, and then um, I think we will. Um... I think we'll stop. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Um, sorry, I just arrived and getting myself oriented. So maybe you could just skip over me. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Just, we're just having, we're getting a sense of who's in the room, so to speak. And we have a nice 
we have some nice new young people joining us for the first time, which is very exciting, right? So yeah, so but that's I'm, not me. So just no, skip I don't. Over me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have some returning uh -huh. folks like like Paul, who's a member for like several decades, off and on. Um, so I'm Jan Haskins winner, or sometimes I go by Jan Haskins. I'm past president, so I'm in that role in coordinating our um, our AGM this year. So we have three agenda items um, for today because um, it's part of the business of the organization. Um, Rachel Kalisha is our president and she'll start with her president's remarks. We will then have the financial update and then I'll introduce the, the draft slate looking for your approval. Um, that'll be our executive going forward. So that's the, the quick version of that. And um, by the way, I'm in St. Lucia, um, but Jenny, I'm from Scarborough, so we could have a chat actually. So <laughs> if we ever get to be in a room together, we'll have a chat, right? So, um, so now I pass the floor on to Rachel, our esteemed president. Uh, thank you for uh, running this agenda this morning, Jan. Uh, much appreciated. Um, just on a fun note, Paul, uh, I started teaching in 1997. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's there's a it's a long history there. So um, what a year! Uh, the global pandemic has put into stark relief the need for more equity in our education systems and has challenged us all in countless ways. The need for engaging inquiry-based social studies and history education is more important than ever. And the need for teacher associations like OHASTA to support each other is clear. We must continue to help students rebuild their relationships with each other and within our communities. Our role is to continue to create safe spaces for students to explore who they are, where others are coming from, and to chart a course together for the future. While the last year has been challenging, OHASTA also has much to celebrate in 2021. Our first virtual conference in 2020 was a great success in collaboration, uh, at, you know, for the first time with the Manitoba Social Science Teachers Association, or MISTA, who is also our partner today. And last year, we also partnered with the Association Québécoise pour l'enseignement en univers social, or ACUS. Um, and we were supported as well last year by the tireless staff at the Association for Canadian Studies, who are supporting us again this year. Um, last year, we had uh, around 500 educators attending 30 workshops from nine provinces, um, very unprecedented, and laid the groundwork for the conference we have here today. By working together, we're strengthening our new umbrella organization that we are a part of, the Social Studies Educators Network of Canada, or SYNC. So I'm extremely happy to report that the current OHASTA executive have all decided to stay on for another year after a few years of change and renewal. And I'm very much looking forward to working with this great team for another year, most of whom are in the room today. Uh, you may never know the countless hours these volunteers have put into this organization, and it's so great to work with folks who bring incredible enthusiasm, talent, skill, and joy to creating teacher-led professional learning. I would like to send a particular shout out to Kelly Main, wave at everybody Kelly, and Erin Ludlow, who have been working hard to coordinate this amazing conference today in collaboration with our many partners in other provinces. Um, not an easy task. Uh, with Jan's steady hand as treasurer, you will see that we are also in good shape financially, which will set us up well to start organizing next year's OHASTA conference, which, if public health restrictions allow, will hopefully be in person. Um, since March of 2020, we have held 15 webinars to keep us connected throughout the pandemic and to provide space for members to talk and learn together. We are so grateful for the support of the Ontario Teachers Federation, who supports us by providing our Zoom account, uh, without which things would have definitely been much more challenging. Uh, so just a sample of some of the webinars, so law resources, curatorial thinking, local history, voting rights, uh, and just sharing and learning to cope in a pandemic world. Those are some of those topics we covered this year in our webinars. Uh, the educator-led webinars are still available on our website and on our YouTube channel. Um, we will continue to hold monthly webinars through this coming year, and we hope you will join us and uh, maybe even step up to lead one. Uh, we're always looking for uh, great ideas from the field. This summer brought new opportunities to learn, including an OTF virtual summer institute led by Sarah Murdoch, who is here, wave Sarah and Elizabeth Freeman Shaw, um, and as well as civics and citizenship curriculum revision. Uh, and a couple of our members, Jean-Francois Bertrand and Sarah Faulkner were also at those tables. Um, and we will look forward to more collaboration with the Ministry of Education as the revisions are finalized and hopefully rolled out uh, sometime this year. 
uh, the civics writing project, you know, kind of gave us an opportunity to continue our conversations with many of our partner associations in Ontario. So the First Nations Métis and Inuit Educators Association of Ontario, the Ontario History, Humanities and Social Science Consultants Association, and our friends in the Ontario Elementary Social Studies Teachers Association. Uh, in addition to our close friends, um, we have continued to work with other Ontario Teachers Associations through the uh, OTF Curriculum Forum, which has brought us together uh, virtually continued uh, this past year, and we look forward to more virtual uh, gatherings through this year. We are also super excited to work to continue to work with our numerous partners like the Association for Canadian Studies without whom this virtual uh, conference would not be possible or nearly so snazzy. Um, and uh, our partners at Canadian Canada's History uh, who have a booth here uh, at the conference today. Uh, so please go and say hello and thank you and check out their new contest, Our Stories, Our Voices, which they launched last year and is just launched yesterday. So we're super excited to, to get back into that. Um, thinking historically for Canada's future, we're going to hear from Carla Peck this morning uh, and this afternoon as well, so you'll get all the updates on that great research project. Um, and our friends at the Collaborative uh, and, and many more uh, of the exhibitors and partners who are here with us at the conference. Do make time in your day to check out the amazing resources they have uh, and stop in to say hi at their booth. They're there all day just to chat to you. Um, and many of which were developed in partnership with educators just like you. We're looking forward to doing more things in person soon and getting back to the joy of togetherness, hopefully next fall. Despite everything, we've been able to stay connected and keep supporting each other through the magic of technology. Um, and uh, so thank you for coming to the AGM this morning and thank you for being here at the conference today. Looking forward to a great day and a half of learning. Back to you, Jan. Thank you very much. Rachel, that was great. Okay, so now I need to share my screen. <clears throat> uh, where is that little tab here? Share screen. We head to the, okay. the bottom. There should be yeah. a green button that says share I screen. I found it. Yep. Okay, Excellent. here we go. All right. Can you see it? Because I can't. <laughs> It seems I can only see like a slice of your screen. All right, okay, so I see, I just have, I have too many tabs open here, all right. I mean, maybe if you make it more full screen, the, okay, the tab. Okay, second here, wrong tab here. All right, how does that work? So you guys move over here. All right, can you see it kind of, sort of, part of it? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, there it is. All right, so here's our ballots statement for OHASA for October 2021. Okay, so we started with um, just over $8,000 last year at this time. Um, and our net revenues from the conference that Rachel referenced um, from last year, um, there's always a little bit of expenses and things, was just over 4000 which was very good for us. Um, this, the webinars Rachel mentioned brought in $447. Um, OSSTF has a nice little partnership thing for us and they give us money for great things. So that brought in $2,000. And then I, I have to charge GST when I we do things. So then I have to get, um, I have to report that back and I'm gonna speak about CRA in a minute, um, which brought in six thousand, almost $7,000 for us. Of course we have expenses, not insignificant expenses. Um, we pay insurance, um, we pay for the MailChimp, which allows for messages to go out on a frequent basis. Um, we have a website, which you would all, I think, agree is an awesome place to go for resources and um, has had great updates in, in the past uh, year, which gives us sort of net revenue over expenses of just over 2000 which puts about $11,000 in our bank right now. Um, and just a little note at the bottom, we do have an accounts payable, which is not accounted for above yet because I've not paid it yet, um, for a new logo design. And you can see Rachel and I have our OHASTA, our old OHASTA logo, which has been the... Um, the logo for a long time. Um, so we're just in the process of, of doing that again. So we've, we've, um, we have funding for it, I've accounted for it, but we haven't actually paid it yet because we have not finalized it, right? So, and then the only um, a little caveat I just have to say is that CRA thing, I just want you to know, I'm looking after every penny of our organization. And as I mentioned, I'm in St. Lucia. So I get my mail checked and I got a letter from CRA said that I owe them $26.21. 26 and 
um, Zoe, who is um, our, one of our members, and she's my most important assistant, and she goes to the bank for me. Um, and I went to the bank together to pay the $26. And we had a little problem at the bank. So I went the next day to, and paid out of my personal account. And I paid it on July 30th. And I have the receipt to prove I paid it on July 30th. So now they want $26 and 21 cents interest. So I am fighting CRA. Um, and I've even brought in our former treasurer to help me on this, Mike Claire. This is, I'm gonna defend every penny of this organization's dollars and I'm gonna get that 21 cents back. Um, and I'm not paying $26 twice either. So it's actually $26 and 21 cents I'm defending here, right? So. Um, so just so you know, the details to which I'm looking after your money to make sure we can continue to do awesome things in, in the future and things like that. So um, I do need someone to um, um, move and accept um, the financial report. Alex, sorry, Alex, Alan, thank you. And a seconder, please. Um, I can't, so I can't see all that. Can, Rachel, can you tell me who's, who's seconding? I can't see all the. I've got myself, Kelly, or Sarah Murdoch, your pick. Okay, I'll pick Sarah Murdoch because she now shows up next on my thing, right? So, and, and you're taking minutes, I hope, Sarah, um, <laughs> to, to record this. And um, um, all, in, all in favor, or should we just do anybody opposed, I guess, right? So if you're in favor, um, just please let me know and... I'm very happy to report that we actually do have money in the bank um, and it gives us a little bit of a cushion um, because revenues are less than they have been in the past and, and they will be this year less, right? So um, we're, we just need to kind of make sure we can continue to pay for things like insurance and the website and things like that to continue the great stuff that Rachel mentioned in her report. All right. Okay. So I'm seeing, um, can, is there anybody? Oh, sorry. I think. Yeah people stopped voting. So uh, you can keep voting. Okay. So now we're looking for opposed. Yes. So if you're opposed, anybody opposed? Take down your hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, take down your hand, please. <laughs> Unless you are opposed. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. So um, uh, thank you very much. So that's our, our financial. And now um, are, are any questions about it just um, from anybody in terms of um, just what those numbers represent. Anybody have any questions? I'm happy to take questions. And I'll report next year on my success or failure with CRA. Um, <laughs> no questions. So I'm going to stop sharing that. Then I have to share my... I have another comment, Jan, to say thank you for taking such good care of us financially. One yes, more time. When Yes, when, when I was president, I lost sleep for a while, um, <laughs> whether we we're going to make it through the year. So I do feel better knowing that. Okay, so now um, I'm going to share. Share. Executive. Here we go. All right. Can everybody see that? Part of it? because I have it's more than one page long. Okay, so this is your draft executive for 2021, 2022. And actually everything stays the same except for one small thing, which I'll show you as we go along. So Rachel's staying as president, Diane is first vice president. And I want you to note, especially new people, the different boards of education that we actually have represented on, on this slate, this has been really important to us to kind of get a, um, and technology allows us to do this. We do meet with Zoom and have pre-pandemic met with Zoom, um, which is now or allows Adobe us, Connect, which was or Adobe Connect in the old days kind of stuff, right? So, but it's allowed us to continue to meet online and to broaden our reach beyond a, a more GTA centric focus that it was, right? So, um, so I'm staying on past president, treasurer, and OTF. Rep, Sarah is our secretary. Other Sarah is a director. Lee is OGEN rep. Um, she's a she's a co-chair of OGEN, the Ontario Justice Education Network. Um, Kelly and Erin are conference co-chairs who are amazing. Um, Jim is our amazing webmaster and the changes to our website are phenomenal. Um, Vanessa does communications and you know you get messages from uh, her all the time. Um, Charles is... Um, working on conference speakers, John um, and Alexis and Megan are members at large who do other things that it's kind of hard to quantify. Here's the big change. Sandy Kreitzer is coming back. 
Um, she's now the OH, which is actually the Ontario History, Humanities, and Social Science Consultants Association is the long name for that. We just call it OH because it's too many letters. Um, so she's now the president of that. But she's also past president of OHASTA. Um, so we'll share that job until she, unless she wants to do it all by herself. Uh, Raman is returning as OESTA rep, Ontario Elementary Social Studies Teachers Association. Um, and Jean-Francois Bertrand is that very long name. He introduced himself at the beginning, um, the largest French language board in Canada, I think he said. And then at outside the bottom, Quebec. outside Quebec, sorry, yes, okay. And Alan Hooks is changing now. He was the OH president, but now he's moving to ex officio uh, member sort of at large on our, so that's the only change really. Sandy is coming back and Alan is moving roles and everything else is status quo. So I need someone to move um, their approval of that slate. I see and, Aaron um, and Alexis. All right, thank you. Are there any questions? Comments. All right. All in My favor. My only comment is thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all in favor, please raise your hands. Okay. I'm stop my sharing here. Um, we do have an awesome executive slate, and I'm really proud to say that we represent um, you know, a good part of Ontario, North, West, East, South, um, and English and French and elementary and secondary, public and Catholic. So we do have, um, you know, like a, a lot of diversity that really represents our province. Could we be more diverse perhaps? But I mean, we're really, I think we're really reaching out across the province, reaching our hands out kind of stuff, right? So, um, and uh, thank you to um, the members who are here. Um, you know, oh, has the members, and if you're new, um, Durham, yes, that's Alexis, is from if, if DDSB is Durham, Durham, then Alexis is from Durham, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, thank you, uh, to the new members of Ohasta who are here today for the first time. Welcome. There's lots of opportunities <clears throat> to get involved, just check our website for um, the um. Um, webinars and resources. Yeah, and, all and, and we have uh, an ongoing blog. Uh, Zoe Flatman is our blog editor, and so um, that that just sort of goes goes always. So if you have if you have something you want to share with uh, with uh, Ontario history and social science teachers, uh, we're always happy to uh, accept your blog submissions and and share them uh, via our website. So yeah. Okay, um, so um, Heather just pointed out oh, that I yes. forgot her. So Heather, thank you for that. So a friendly amendment from the friendly floor. Friendly amendment. A friendly <laughs> amendment from the floor, which I will accept 100%. Rachel, will you accept? I will definitely accept. Okay, and, all right, thank you. But I don't know how that, ha I sent this out to everybody for their comments, by the way, everybody. Um, yes, so, uh, so yeah, Heather is our faculty rep from Queens. Um, and we really do need to have faculty, we, the, the student teachers are the future of the organization, right? So, mm -hmm. um, and lots of them start out, you know, as, as members and then they, they continue on for a long time. I mean, my first conference, I was a first year teacher in Northern Ontario and I came down to the big city of Toronto and it was so exciting to meet all these people and to learn all these things. And, and it was, um, and I did not know one single person, not one, um, <laughs> but it was still very exciting to come um, come down for that. So um, uh, thank you everybody for that. Uh, thank you, Rachel, for your hard work and leading us through um, pandemic times, as they say. And um, and thank you everybody for, for this meeting. Yeah. If there's any and other questions or... I do have one more comment about the conference. Um, so if, uh, if you feel like you need some social time uh, during the conference, uh, we do have in each uh, concurrent session today, uh, there is a sharing session. So the first one is en français with Jean-Francois. Um, but uh, if, you, if, you, if your French is not so amazing and you just like need to hang out with somebody, I'm sure he can set up an Anglo breakout room for you in that sharing session. Um, and uh, just feel free to join any of this sharing session if you just need to talk about anything or, or hang out, uh, use the chat room. Um, there's a help desk. Like we, we, we're here all day. We're so excited to meet you and to chat with you. Uh, feel free to send any of us uh, a message um, and uh, just uh, really welcome to the conference.
that's it. <laughs> hey, I've added Heather to the slate. Apologies. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Jan. It's fantastic. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So we'll see you uh, in the exhibit halls. Feel free to check out the pre recorded sessions. There's tons of them uh, that are amazing by award winning teachers from across Canada. Um, as well as great resources and uh, go go check all that stuff out and we'll see you at 1030 for the uh, welcome and the first plenary.